Hey guys, I'm back to do my sustain the industry video for the month of March and I got um, a lot more anime than I usually get. But with all my sustain the industry videos, I'm going to start with my used manga. I got volume 3 of Higurashi When They Cry, um, mostly because I had I had enough money to get a used manga volume with the DVD I bought, so I got volume 3 and I'm pretty excited about it. This is a really great series and I couldn't find this at Borders, so I'm happy to have this. Then at Borders today I got Inuyasha This Big Volume 4, so this is awesome because this has a lot of Sango in it and Sango is like the most kick-ass character in this series and, and she's, she's, she's pretty, pretty attractive, I think. I mean, you know, she has really strong muscular arms and nice hair. Oh my god, it's getting hot in here, isn't it? But anyway, Inuyasha this big volume 4. Now on to my anime DVDs. I got season 3 of Yu Yu Hakusho at Hastings. Um, I watched this uh, a few weeks ago, I think. A couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago. Um, and it was awesome. This is really, really good. I like this better than the Dark Tournament Saga, but that's just my opinion. You know, you can say what you want to say about it, but I like this season better. But anyway, it's an awesome, awesome season, so this was good. Then I got something a little different. I got a Straight Jacket, which is an OVA. Um, basically, you can count it as a movie, I guess. It's, it's technically an OVA, but... You know, you watch it as a movie. Um, it's really, really good. It has some great L.A. voice actors like Steve Blum and Crispin Freeman. So this was really, really good. I've seen this before, but I just decided to purchase it this month. Then I got Gundam Double O Part 3. Um, this is the of Season 1. This is the last part in Season 1. So now I have the complete Season 1 of Gundam Double O. So I'm really excited about this. This has some of the best episodes on it, too. So I am super excited to watch this. I am on disc 4 or just two of season one and part two, yeah. So I'm gonna watch this soon. Then I got an anime movie. I got Cowboy Bebop the movie. I haven't watched this yet, and um, I, I liked Cowboy Bebop, um, so I'm really interested in watching and seeing what this is all about, because this is this has like no no uh, relation to the series. Like it's not like a continuation of the series at all. I can tell based on what happens, but yeah, um, this is, I, I've heard this is really good, so we'll see what, how I like this one. And then I just got back today from Hastings, and I got season four of Yu Yu Hakusho, so this is the last season, so finally finished this series, um, and you can tell it's brand new, so yeah, still in the shrink wrap. Um, I really enjoyed this series, so we'll see how it ends, and we'll see my final thoughts on this series. And then if this counts, I also got Pokemon White for the Nintendo DS, um, because who didn't get this game? Or, well, <laughs> many people got this game. And I just, I, I really, really enjoy it. This is, like, so fun. And it's just a great Pokemon game. So if this counts, then awesome. But if not, then just take it out. And those are all my purchases. Now let's move on to the receipts. Okay, so here is the receipt for Borders. Um, the Inuyasha Viz Big Volume 4. It was ten seventy nine with a 40% off coupon at Borders. Then here's a receipt for Yu Yu Hakusho Season 4, and the used Higurashi manga that we don't count. Um, the used Season 4 of Yu Yu Hakusho was $19.99. Then here's a receipt for Street Jacket and Yu Yu Hakusho Season 3. Street Jacket was $12.99, and Yu Yu Hakusho was $19.99. And it's kind of pointless to show this receipt, because for some reason it got faded. I put it in the DS, and or not in the DS, but the DS case, and it just, it just faded, so... I got it at Walmart, and it was $34.96, so I guess you're going to have to take my word for it, but if it doesn't count, then uh, oh well. And then finally, the receipt for Mobile Suit Gundam 00 Season 1 Part 3, $24.99, and Cowboy Bebop the movie was $15.99. I also watched a lot of anime legally online, so I will put that in the description box so you can check that out um, for all the series that I watched online legally. And, um... The totals will be at the end, and that's about it. So what are you doing to sustain the anime industry? I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.